so today I am going to be doing a much awaited video, um, awaited in the sense that people have asked me to do it and also that it's been a long wait to be able to do it. So this is going to be a review of Goodbye Lullaby by Avril Lavigne, her brand new album. Um, I just went and bought it today um, and I've just listened to it and I've written down all my initial thoughts about every single song. Um, so I'm going to share them with you and do like a review of it. Um, so I really, really hope that you like it. This is the actual case. Um, I'm sure you've all seen. That's the CD itself. She looks beautiful. Um, it's the inside and the back with the track listings. So I'm going to go through each song and tell you what I thought. I've got my thoughts written down here. <laughs> So song number one is Black Star. Um, many people have already heard a bit of Black Star because it was on the commercial for the perfume. Um, when I listened to the full song, I liked it so much more than I thought it would because after I heard the commercial um, clip of it, I wasn't really that keen. But once I listened to the whole thing, um, I absolutely loved it. So I think it's so much nicer. It's so much more effective in the full length version. <laughs> so um, And also because it's like the opening track and it's only about one and a half minutes long, and it's quite instrumental. It reminded me of when bands like Good Charlotte, they, I don't know about their most recent album, but they um, do like a little instrumental instrumental style song with a few lyrics um, at the start of an album, and it reminded me of that, and I just think it's really effective, so I liked that. Next is What the Hell. Um, I absolutely love it. I liked it from the second or third time that I heard it. The first time I was a bit... Um, unsure and then I listened to it more and I really really liked it so I absolutely love What the Hell um, it's such a party tune and it's just so so much energy it's definitely the most lively song on the album um, I really like it I'm addicted to it <laughs> okay next is Push um, the beginning of it was a bit slow and as I listened to it I got a bit bored kind of as it was going on um, but then when it got to the bit where she sings with Evan I think it was it really really made the song like if that bit hadn't been in it I would have thought it was quite boring but um it really did make the song and that was definitely the best bit of the song and just the vocals coming together was just it worked perfectly so I really liked that bit Wish You Were Here I can really relate to this song because um my boyfriend here lives not with me um for most of the time because I'm away at uni and I really relate to this so much like the chorus the verse everything um really really relate to it the lyrics are fantastic i love the way it progresses from the verses into the chorus um i'm just a big fan of the song i really really like it smile is probably one of the more lighter hearted songs it's not that light hearted but it's still probably one of the more light hearted songs and um, it's obviously about Brody like it's quite obvious um, but I actually do like it and I can definitely see it turning into one of my favourites um, when I get a new album I have at some point almost every song becomes a favourite but I can see this becoming quite a quick favourite song because it's just I like the lyrics they're quite um, they've got a quite a bit of attitude and I definitely think it's a really good song then stop standing there. I've said it's very chilled out. I can imagine like waking up on a summer's morning and listening to it. Um, it wasn't my favourite song on it. Um, it didn't really stand out for me at all. But I think it might grow on me. Um, but initial first listen thoughts, I thought it was quite not. I, w I won't say a filler song, but you know, it was it was all right. I think it will grow on me. Um, I Love You, I thought that was a really nice song, um, the lyrics were lovely, um, the message of the song was lovely, I thought I really liked it and I thought, you know, that's like, that definitely needed to be there somewhere. Um, the la la la's <laughs> were a bit, you know, typical Avril style, maybe a bit predictable, but um, the general message and feel of the song, I did like it. Okay, Everybody Hurt, it was a very, very emotional song. It was more heartfelt than the whole of the best damn thing put together. Um, it, I could, you could tell that she really meant what she was saying, and it was very heartfelt and very emotional. But then, not enough. I felt it was sadder than everybody hurts because the way that she conveyed the sense of loss that she felt was really understandable, and it was really um, like emotional to listen to. It really was, and it was a gorgeous song. The vocals were amazing, and it just flowed and. It was just very emotional. <laughs> For real, um, 
this was a song that I think the album would have been fine without. It's nice to have it there, but I don't think it was essential. Um, it's nice to just have another Apple song kind of going on, but yeah, it was okay. It was pretty, it was quite average, um, but I think, again, it might grow on me. It might end up being my favourite song ever, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it was a bit of a filler song. Darling, I liked this. It was, I love the acoustic feel of it. Um, it was great. Um, just a really nice flow and I, I could just imagine listening to that and uh, quite uh, over and over and just wouldn't get bored of it. I really liked it. Remember when Avril's vocals are amazing in this song, I think. Um, it, again, it was very emotional. The second half of the album was getting super emotional. But it's, you know, if she hadn't had an emotional album after, you know, everything that she's been through in the last couple of years, then you would think, you know, what's going on. So um, I did I did like it. Vocals, um, the lyrics are really sad, um, but I do like it. And Goodbye, of all the songs on the album that are about her breakup with Derek, um, this is the most emotional one to me, and I did have a little cry, because there was just something about it that was like, it's making me feel a bit like choked up when I think about it. It was like a heartbreaking song and it was a kind of haunting. I did re I do, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous, but I think if I started to listen to it on the bus, I'd just start crying or something. So I think I might have to be a bit careful with that one. And then on this version, which is, I don't know if this is the same on all of them, I'm really guessing it is, then Alice is the hidden track. Uh, obviously Alice, love it. Um, I've loved it from the very beginning. I thought, I think her vocals are amazing on Alice and yeah I love it. So yes in general I really like Goodbye Lullaby Um, it has been worth the wait. It's a very emotional raw album and um, it's so different to The Best Damn Thing that you'd think it was a different artist but I think that's a good thing because she has you know she's matured and she's been through a lot and she's putting that out there for us to hear which is obviously what you know what she does and I think that's great. Um, even though you might think it's quite a depressing album on the surface, you don't you don't come away from listening to it feeling depressed. In a weird way, because she's addressing the past and everything that happened to her, it feels like it's closure for her. So that conveys itself, and it makes me think, well, you've got to look forward to the future, and that I, that's what I got from it. Not so much dwelling on the past, but dealing with the past, moving forward, and that's that's really what I got from it. Um, so I found it a very emotional and very moving record um, and yeah I absolutely love it I'm not going to give it like a mark out of 10 or anything because I think after your first listen you can't give a definitive mark but I know that I'm going to love it I know it's going to turn into one of my favourite records and um, it's been worth the wait so yeah like I said about a couple of the songs that I didn't really like at first listen that will probably change every album you listen to you never connect with all the songs straight away it takes you a little while to kind of understand them in the way that the artist meant so i hope you like my review um go and get this album i urge you um yeah goodbye the bye